Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson on how to automate some things in Revit. Uh, this one we're going to show you how to place a, a plan view on a sheet, in the center of the sheet, and that's also going to pop up with the uh, view title. All right. So uh, I don't really have any. I don't have anything in my project right now. It's just a new project in Revit, so I don't have one level one plan view. Right. Um, we're just going to get this one duplicated. The first one on our list is going to pop up, right? And okay. All right. Let me show you how it goes. Uh, so first we're going to draw a wall, right, because you can't place an empty view on a sheet. So we're going to do this, draw that, right, and then we're going to hit my test tab, and we're going to hit create new sheet button, and it's going to run, and then if we look, so we got one sheet populated, right, it's great, and then if we go to structural plans, another one's duplicated, great. And then we're going to go to Sheets, go to our sheet that was created, and there's our sheet, right? It pops up in the center seat, sheet. This is just a simple um, 8.5 by 11 uh, title block. So um, you, know, you can, of course, put in your third by 42, whatever you want, 11 by 17, right? And it comes up with our edit title, right? With our title view right here, right? And it comes in at our scale of 1.5 to 1 foot, which view scale is 24. Remember, that's important. Um, all right, if we go to edit type, right? Uh, we can go in here and everything is switched from uh, this being none, right, to being futile with futile sheet, because it's found with everything to load in. Uh, show title, yes, as opposed to one multiple viewports, right, or no, right. Uh, and then line weight, you don't really touch that one, color, don't touch that one, and line pattern, don't touch that one. Okay, uh, great. Uh, let's go over to the coding part, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, guys, uh, here we are on the coding part, right? So we're going to take care of it. We're going to start coding the project. Uh, we're going to go to our app.cs, change that. <clears throat> and I'm just going to copy this. You can name your, of course, whatever you want. Right. And then we're going to import the bitmap image, uh, add in or reference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Alright, and then we're going to go over to our add in. And we're going to comment out this. Oops, not that one. And then that's for that, and then we're gonna go to command on CS, okay? Um all right, so okay, so um we're allowed some basics, right? I guess we'll we'll do the pseudocode first for stuff that we need, so I'm not gonna need that one. So we need uh get an available title block. Alright. So we'll get those. Um, and this can be filtered on the collector. All right, and then uh, we're gonna grab the view plans that are created or have been created. Collector, and then after that, we're going to uh, grab the first one. First view plan, as an example, and of course, you, know, you guys can figure out how to um, filter down which one you want by name or by category or by uh, type. All right, and we're gonna grab the first. Oops. The first, and then then we're gonna grab viewport labels. And then after that, then we're gonna grab the viewports. So viewport labels is actually gonna be considered. We're gonna call them uh, view titles. All right, and then viewports is just a viewport. And 
grad equals. Um, so um, viewports is so if, you, uh, if you've ever worked in CAD, you probably know what viewports are. If, you don't, if not, then um, viewports are the just the view that you place on the sheet, right? So your your view porting into that part of your model. Um, it's basically it's a view, but a viewport is the view that you placed on the sheet. All right, to be clear. Okay. All right. Uh, then we're going to start the current transaction, and then we're going to be inside the transaction, and we're going to say, uh, this is the part where we check for title blocks, and if no title block is loaded, then load the family. Uh, family, okay. And then after that, oops, then we're going to grab first. All right, and then after that, we're gonna uh, create a new sheet. All right, and then we're gonna begin the duplication process. So I'm just gonna duplicate view, view plan. All right, and then we're gonna set location for the view. So I'm going to add pass in view onto center of sheet. All right. And then we're going to create the viewport. And then after that, we're going to set the viewport settings. So that's going to be like your scale, right? Uh, your show extension line, and then your uh, conditional for the viewport. You're like if another, or only show view title if other view is on sheet type of thing. So set viewport settings, and then we're going to uh, load view title family. family. And then we're going to set view title family, or sorry, set view title parameter. Alright, and that one's going to be the one where it uh, yeah, changes the view title from being like none to uh, you know, reference or view sheet view with uh, sorry view with sheet number or just the view name if you want that. All right. Uh, okay. Um, so with this right, we also need to um, create our families. Okay. So that or sorry, we also need to load our families. So we need to create those classes. So come over here, create new, and one of them is going to be. Okay, so one is going to be called uh, load family, and one is going to be called load uh, view title. Right? So, it's going to be a class, right? So, first one is load view title. All right. And then, I'm going to create another one. Now it's going to be load title block. And then um, I also have other videos uh, showing uh, this also as well. If you want to check those out. Okay, cool. All right, uh, let's go back to command, and then we'll we'll code those out when we get there. All right. Okay, so filter on the collector for the title blocks, right? It's pretty straightforward. I've done a couple of these a couple of times. Uh, filter element collector. Title blocks. So let's see, new filter element collector. Doc. And call title blocks. Dot of class. Type of family symbol. All right. And then call title blocks of category. Built in category dot OST underscore title blocks. Alright. And then, okay, now we're going to grab uh, the view plans with the 
uh, flipped it on the collector, so very similar. We're going to I'm just gonna copy this. Oops. And so now we're grabbing so we're grabbing all the plans in our project basically. Uh, so this is gonna change to a view. Oops, first we're gonna change the name. Cole. This one we're gonna call Cole View Plans. Alright, type it now. And then change to type of view plan. There we go. And then this is going to change instead of using built in category, we're going to look. Oh, wait. Take that back. This one we're going to do, we can cast it to a list. So it's going to be list of view plans. And we're going to call it view plans list. It's equal to call view plans dot cast view plan dot to list. There we go. Okay, great. And now we're gonna grab the first one. Uh, and then so we can duplicate him later. So it's gonna be view plan duplicated plan is equal to view plans list. Right. And we're just grabbing the first one. Okay. And then let's see, we're going to need to grab view titles. And the way we do that is it's another filtered element collector. And this one we're just going to see, copy this guy. Alright, and then type of family symbol. Alright, and change that to call. View titles. Alright. And then we're gonna do everything up to here. Alright, up category and we're looking for built in category dot OST viewport labels. And one to many. Okay, so we have viewport labels, and now we need to grab the viewports. Okay. Uh, so similar. Copy. Paste. And then change that name. Viewports. And then change this guy to dot viewports. Great. Okay. So. Uh, now that we've done that, we can move inside the transaction. Okay, and we can change that name to whatever we want. We're going to the name of our thing, so create new sheet. Okay. Uh, started, okay, we're inside a try block. Great. Okay, uh, check title blocks, and then if not, load family. Alright, so this one. Okay, so if cold title blocks is not null, right, then do this. All right. And so this is probably where we go to our family with loaded title blocks. All right. So we're gonna go over to load title blocks. All right. Uh, hey guys, so this video is getting a little long, uh, so I'm going to pause this one right here, uh, and you can follow the rest in part two. Alright, see you guys there.